Hello friend, welcome back. So in this video, let's draw a goal board. Okay, what is the goal? It's the alpha goal goal. Okay, so goal board. Okay, is it familiar? Yeah, this thing, right? Like that. Cool. So. No, oh, we don't need this. We'll see the image here. So, go board. So, here is the standard go board. It's 19 by 19 grid. Okay? So, if you are not familiar with this game, at least you want to check the amazing story about AlphaGo, okay, AlphaGo here. AlphaGo, okay, check out those um, AlphaGo versus, you see, Lee Sedo, Lee Sedo. Yes, amazing story, right, happened a few years ago, okay. So let's get started. Okay. Let's code. Create a new Xcode project. Okay. So, yes, iOS app next. We'll go. Go board. Okay. Yeah. We'll put uh, our project inside the temp template. Temp directory. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's it. Let's make sure it's runnable in our favorite iPad simulator. Yeah, it's runnable. Okay. Now we need to create our right click new file, create a view file, right? So Google Touch class, yes, next. So board view that create. So and we can put it anywhere like that. Go to the main storyboard and uh, let's switch to our matching iPad simulator not template template okay it's too big let's make it a little bit smaller okay now grab out our view right so we can search UI view like that drag it and put it here change its background color to to yellow yes and make it bigger something like that if you like you can change it um, add the auto layout constraints like that aspect ratio add that so double click this guy and change it to one to one so it will be a square yeah that's it run it so you can see yes and now we need to set right with this select it click here select again change go to the force icon here change its class to our board view okay now we can start drawing our we can delete that and this one mm. let's create our oh that pass equal to UI Bazia pass and uh, pass dot move to point right um, okay so where do we start we need 19 right horizontal lines and 19 uh, vertical lines so where to start let's define the constant for that to actually that um, origin x cg float right um, let's say this is the top left of our grid 
top left corner okay so it'll be say let's put um, 50 50 here and that origin y so you float 70 for y so it will be like uh, 50 70 here right okay so now instead of using the hard coded number we can use the constant origin x origin y pass dot add line two point okay now too well so we need right 19 so it means the distance right the length of the line should be 18 times 18 times something what is the something the side length okay so let's define like side equals for example let's do 10 okay now we can still define the the size of the board right this one is int is 19 by 19 okay that's our um, board size okay so here x so start from yeah we'll we'll do right start from origin x right plus 18 what is 18 18 is size let's use board size okay board size minus one right minus one times side okay why of course it's origin y this now let's do stroke okay run it no right because this one is is int why do we need int instead of cg float because conceptually right it doesn't make sense if we have like 18.5 <laughs> lines right it doesn't make sense <coughs> that's uh <coughs> semantically it right it should be an int so it's easy we just need to convert this one yeah to cg float cg float yeah run it it should be our first line cool oh too short so okay let's make it oh now we can do that we can hide this one we can okay cool so let's double this double the cell side right um okay run it cell side cell side we can rename it so hold on command key and the click okay click mm -hmm. yeah rename so that's it right each small square is a cell so that's define it we rename it to cell side okay like that so we can hide this one so we have a longer yeah now uh, let's add the second line we can make a copy of that so what is the second line why right why we need to increase by our cell side like that but do we copy and paste 18 times right for that no we have oh what happened here um the yeah wrong place wrong place it should be here You see that's the second line okay so we have a better solution instead of copy and paste for so many times let's introduce something called the for loop okay for you see for statement enter i 
we can put any name here like i in zero um dot dot less than let's use this dot dot three five okay so it means the code inside here will be repeat so many times right six times starting from yeah the first time i is zero the second time i is one okay so on so it's i will be zero one two three four five totally six of them let's print out it to see print like that right i is let's use this we introduced this before right backslash parentheses so we can show a, the value of a variable like that so run it what happened here you see six right six of them and there's another syntax to do like dot dot less than so it means it will be zero to four not including five let's do it okay so you see we can use this right the code here what about yeah if we put another print right so for example like that so both of these two lines of code will be repeated five times right like that so whatever you put yeah like that here right so whatever you put inside this block will be repeated so uh, yeah so many times so we can use this right to draw our our lines okay so that's copy and paste it here like that so now instead of so so we need to increase this one right every time we, when we repeat drawing so the first time it will be zero of that so times i is like that unfortunately uh, let's put the I in the front but it doesn't matter for multiplication it can be right either way I yeah you will complain because I is integer and all the other types are CG float so let's use that to auto fix that okay so we only need that to put it here right oh um it's so long okay if you don't like that we can rename this back to side okay rename so it will be a little bit shorter yeah so okay now that's coming out of the old code right oh but we need to put this one cut after that yeah run it so we'll have five lines cool now let's delete that mm -hmm. so we need totally we need right 19 of them so you will start from 0 to 18 right run it cool now what about uh, our first vertical line we can do right as the move to point so yeah same thing the first point is here right the it will, will draw from here to here so here the coordinates is origin x and origin y yeah origin x, x and uh, origin y right that too well as dot at line 2 uh, x is same origin x y of course we need 18 of them right so we'll copy this run it yes so same idea right we can use a for loop for enter i 
zero dot dot we need 19 of them right 19 okay now cut and uh, paste here now we need to increase the x right every time because right every time by the side right the second one the third one okay so it will be mm -hmm, this one we can copy this one and put it here and here all right it's parallel so run it oh uh what's wrong times what did i do here x oh i copied too much too many <laughs> characters yeah so now run it there's an actual opening uh closing parenthesis there okay cool now um mm -hmm. we can make it even bigger right so what about this yeah and uh, even bigger what about 27 so how can we right move it to the right we can adjust this guy right so the location is central controlled by the two constant here so what about let's do maybe uh 120 run it yeah it's not bad and the 70 let's do 120 again okay nice right so uh do we want okay another thing is this is duplicate right so we can merge the two for loop easy just remove this part right Boom. yeah run it yeah if you think about that the order of the drawing is different but it doesn't matter right it doesn't matter if we draw like this way one horizontal one vertical one horizontal one vertical or like before we finish all the horizontal then vertical right okay command shift z to redo right command z command z or z to undo command shift z to redo okay um run it yeah nothing changed cool thank you for watching see you next time friends